if successful against Reese's Pro Grade, where do you think that puts Devin? Because he, he gets a lot of criticism for somebody that's coming off of quality wins, like three fights in a row. Um, he's my number one guy, you know what I mean, based on everything that he does in the ring and all the intangibles. Um, but that was a hell of a performance that Bud put on uh, against uh, Earl Spence, you know what I mean? Um, shout out to both of those fighters. Um, you know, and, and boxing is, is lit right now, man, you know what I'm saying? So uh, instead of doing any kind of uh, comparisons or any kind of uh, dividing, let's just celebrate it and say, you know, we're kicking ass in this sport. Last question, Bill. Speaking of that performance, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, did you see that coming? Like it was built up as a 50 50 fight, and, you know, Terrence Crawford put on like a virtual well, performance. Hey, hey, hey time that you know anything about boxing and you've been studying boxing, the biggest fights, the strangest shit be happening, it, 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 you know, and that fight uh, delivered and it might have even over delivered in, in terms of the expectations. We know that both of those fighters can do that. Um, it just was a matter of where, where are they going to do it? And Terrence Br Bud Crawford showed why he's number one in the world. What kind of fight do you expect at 154 pounds? Do you expect a more competitive fight or could it be some of the same? Uh, nobody's beating Bud. Nobody's beating Bud right now. I told him. I told him go up and uh, and go after Canelo. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate you. Have, all right.